um, line I'm going to see today. The Ridley hero and the Aegis. Aegis. Yeah, I mean, he's been practicing, he's been winning a lot of tournaments with, the, with them, but... I still, there's a lot of room for improvement from him, still. Yeah, actually, the Aegis has a lot of versatility. You know, Mithra Speed, Pyra, Pyra's launch power, yeah. and Akbot, look at that. Looks like we're gonna begin using 8 from Dragon Quest 8. Yeah, what a, what a great uh, RPG. Uh, but yeah, uh, Nair, Nair has uh, one of the best heroes here in Mexico. He has a lot of conversion, he has a lot of potential. He knows his combos with Accelerate. I mean, he, he already mastered this character, but also he's one of the luckiest players too, you know? He, there's always that zoom to get into the recovery, always get the swag kills, but Turi with a big combo here, not gonna be enough, and now that's a terrible position for Violet to get back, but ooh, two big mistakes from Nair and Turi is back on stage. Yeah, now the Nair is playing pressure on it. Whoa, <laughs> man, the down smash actually made it. And we're going to see now Joker on screen. 61 to 11, it looks like Turi is suffering a lot. You've got to be yeah. really careful with the hero spells because it can lead to a, a combo or to a, an effective KO. Yeah, especially if you have uh, the conversions ready. And again, Nair making a lot of good use from the spells also trying to get that uh, hits to, to get some MP back and he, he already has almost a back uh, to, to full and yeah look at that oh the pressure yeah that, that, that's gonna be a good pressure for Tori. That was a, a good attempt to from from near to get the the apple at least to to take Tori away but looks like he didn't make it. Now on to the next character Ridley no is he gone no well, oh, well. <laughs> you know, do it again. And yeah. there we go, the, the fair making it up. All right, now on to Chrome. I yeah. feel like it's a strong character, but something that he's gonna be like, he's gonna get close, a really close range for, for Ridley. Yeah, and that is something that Nair's not letting happen. You know, using the tail as, as, as a sword, he can uh, space him more than actually the the Falchion can make. Yeah, especially because Ridley's a really big character. I mean, he, he hits like a truck, one of the strongest characters here, but he's so big, a lot of combos work on him, and he's also a little bit light uh, if you compare it from his uh, size. But yeah, uh, there a lot of people know him internationally with that Ridley, but look at that. It was an amazing DI for Nair, but well, like we said, he's a really big character and still the gear still gonna connect and now we're back to the final characters and now Nair in my opinion is weakest in, in, this, in this lineup but still what an amazing character are the Aegis. Yeah now the Aegis are on screen but whoa the Reed got yeah. with the up tilt and that's the first game for Nair. Yeah a lot of big reads from uh, today uh, matches we are uh, like we said almost close in the bracket uh, also uh, that says that we are in a big, uh, big um, uh, players here already. So a lot of good matches, and I'm gonna go back again for the, the lineup. Uh, Ridley, Hero, uh, Aegis again for Nair. Uh, Turi, is, he's thinking about the, the last character, you know. But no, we're gonna go still with Pilot. Okay. okay. All right, now let's decide the order. You know, actually you can play Squad Strike with also five characters, but you know, we can't <laughs> last this longer, so we're rather to stick playing with three. Now, on to the fight. The order is gonna be near against Joker. Looks like Turi rather to use a, a bit of kill power for speed. Yeah, especially now we're back at Pokemon Team too. A big, uh, the biggest uh, stage here on the legal side, and I mean Nair uh, and Hero has a lot of good old options there with that OP out of shield. He has good coverage. He can make it a little bit safer. Maybe make uh, make a combo on those platforms on the Pokemon side too. But look at that, the pressure from Turi out of stage, making a, a big leave already oh, yeah ooh, big combo yeah i like how near is using uh, all the hero spells to um, to space him before turi can actually come in but something that the pressure is not making it that well all right there is no tech here it goes again with the gun yeah and man that mp it's too low 
he gotta be careful because if Hero ran out of a, of magic points, he won't be able to recover. You know, yeah, all the right. special attacks of yeah. the hero require oh, um, MP. So if he gets all run out of, well, he's gonna be busted for yeah, today. You have, you have to manage that MP bar. It's not for show, it's not because he's an RPG character, he's also part of the mechanics and what you're gonna do with your specials, but that's gonna be provoke him. Really good pressure from Turi and Joker making it once again one of the best rushdown characters in the game. Now Nerd, yeah, the change of the lineup now, the Aegis are on the second spot, really gonna be our anchor character. And now he needs to get the kill quickly and now comes the... Uh, Pyra, not gonna be enough, but that's gonna be a good read, an amazing kill from the top, and now it's coming Chrome, and both players have had a uh, really, um, really impeccable uh, recovery, so you can, you can change in a, in a flash when both characters are gonna go uh, off stage. Whoa, what a, what a, uh, a risky, I mean, Option. aggressive. Uh, read there. Yeah, 60 against a 44 and looks like Turi is getting used to what Nier is up to. Now, I feel like he's playing a bit unsafe. Why is it? Because he's letting him in too much. Whoa, whoa, not even really the force that was enough yeah. to get rid of the Soaring Slash. Well, however, now Nier has the control. Will he, will he made it? He save his job. Whoa, man. And Smash Blade Smash looks like Turi has the big win now. 63 against Ridlin. And uh, man, we saw this before, and I feel like Chrome is gonna struggle a little bit with the, all the space and Ridley can get. Yeah, especially with all those juggles, Turi being so aggressive from the bottom, trying to make those juggles go upper, not letting his uh, opponent land. Oh, he, got, he tried for a, a cool reset. I appreciate that. Now, uh, Ridley. Uh, trying to get the oh, the up smash really fast, one of the strongest up smashes here. A big R to punish that as an anti air. But now, oh, Nair with the Reeds trying to get big damage because of Reeds, because you know, by hits like a truck, and now really, uh, sadly to say, he's gonna be on the verge of getting KO if Vida can get those sweet spots. From yeah, a or a all right. I, I, I like the 2D strategy because he's using a lot of... Um, uh, we're like playing ice with ice, beating, yeah. kill power and range with team both. And you know, Violet isn't so fast, neither Ridley. Yeah. So it's like playing on, on an equality. Now let's see who can actually get the the KO. And you know, if Nair wins, it'll be GG's for for Turi on this bracket. However, you know, we all expect a game three. So get so stay tuned and let's see who's gonna make who's not actually gonna make it. Wow, man, the fireballs! Oh, the backer made it and busted. Looks what like Nair brought it back. What an amazing call out! Nair was trying to go for all the read. He's gonna try to jump. I think. Mean, yeah, I think. Mean, he was being really patient on the floor on a Pokemon Stadium too. He went like forcing everything to jump. Now you're gonna jump on the best moment. He was ready, and that backer from Lily bringing him, bringing it back. And now with a 2-0 for Nair, he's advancing. I, I don't know uh, in which state we are here still, but we're almost to the finals. And Nair is being again one of the best uh, players here in Mexico. And I know he loves squats. So he, he, he asked us. <laughs> I, I gotta say that I also love uh, the squats, right? Because.